This is a beautiful example in the historic Harvard fish collection here of a grouper skeleton that's been prepared so we can study the anatomy. The fish collection allows us to, at a moment's notice, go pick a fish out that we might be interested in studying, to be able to dissect it, to look at the fin structure, look at the anatomy of the muscles that control the motion of the body as they swim. You can see that this front part of the dorsal fin has these very sharp spines. These spines only can move up and down like this, whereas the more flexible backward part of the dorsal fin here has fin rays which can bend side to side as well as move up and down. And it's a very interesting feature of fish functional design that the fins, such as this dorsal fin, don't actually attach mechanically to the skeleton itself. You can see these bony supports known as pterygiophores, which the fins, fin spines here and the rays down here attached to are separated from the neural spines of the bony axial skeleton here. The tail of the fish here, you can see it's the symmetrical external shape, but it's important to note that bony fishes have a symmetrical shape of the tail externally, but the internal skeleton reflects the origin of this tail, which was asymmetrical. This fish also shows nicely the uh, anal fin here with spines in front, the fin rays at the back. If we move forward on the skeleton, we can see the pelvic fins here, the pectoral fins, one on each side with the bony supports here of the pectoral fin. The fin is supported on the pectoral girdle of the fish, which is located here. And studies of anatomy like this are a very important function that the collection of fishes here at Harvard serves. And so the collection is really an invaluable resource for those of us interested in biomechanics and the hydrodynamics of fish locomotion.